What's going on guys, Firefrost Tech here, showing you guys the Zag Invisible Shield HD Drive Screen Protector for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. We're going to go ahead and open it up and put it on for you guys. Let's go ahead and open up the box using this little blade here. Okay. All right. So here we have the contents of the screen protector. Okay, give us a nice alcohol pad. A microfiber towel for the screen. Give you a nice squeegee. And they give you a nice a lifetime replacement guarantee brochure. So make sure you guys register for that. It's one of the reasons why I like Zag a lot because they offer that lifetime replacements. And here we have instructions on how to put on the screen protector, so make sure you guys uh, read up on that before installing. Here we have the screen protector itself. Okay. So, pretty much the uh, first thing we want to do is we want to screen clean off the screen. So, what we want to do is we want to first use this included alcohol pad. And we're gonna go ahead and give a nice wipe on top of the screen. So this will help break off any oil, dirt and debris on top of the screen. And once you give that a nice wipe, we can go ahead and open up the microfiber cloth. Okay, and using the microfiber cloth, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the screen on the phone. You want to make sure there's no lint or any dust particles on top of the screen. So guys, make sure you take some time making sure that the screen of the phone is perfectly fine. Okay, okay so now uh, the screen protector itself uh, has essentially a yellow plastic here to show you the outline of the actual screen protector. You have tabs here to help you guide the installation. And uh, essentially there's this uh, green tab that you first start with. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying it. So once we make sure the screen is perfectly clean, we can go ahead and start applying it. All right, let's check it out. Okay, it looks like there's no lint or any particles on top of the screen so we're now ready to actually install the screen protector so the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this green tab you want to make sure the screen is facing front so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and peel this bottom green tab out which exposes the bottom screen protector and we're going to go ahead and align it properly and you want to make sure that the uh, alignment is perfect because the zag screen protector covers the whole screen of the phone so make sure we apply that perfectly okay once you lay it down you want to make sure you want to align it perfectly and uh, as we can see here it's not aligned perfectly yet so we can go ahead and lift it up again and reapply you want to make sure it's perfectly aligned make sure you guys take your time Okay, so now that we have it nice and aligned, we're gonna go ahead and take the squeegee and we're gonna go ahead and push down the bottom of the screen. Okay, so once we have the bottom of the screen nicely adhered, we can go ahead and start finishing the rest. So pretty much all you have to do is uh, with the squeegee, you wanna go ahead and leave it in the bottom. Let me move this phone up a little bit. It's like this, and all you're gonna do is essentially you're gonna lift this up, and you, with the squeegee, uh, actually before you do that, you wanna make sure there's no lint on top of the screen, so make sure you wipe off any lint on top of the screen. Okay, so once that's done, you can go ahead and use the squeegee, and you wanna go ahead and essentially push it down. You wanna put a finger on top of the phone so you can uh, have some stability, and you're essentially going to just Pull it down, okay, pull it all the way down in one motion. So 
just like that. Okay, so now that we have it all the way down, we can go ahead and work on the sides. Using the squeegee, we're going to go ahead and push it down. Okay, making sure that the sides are adhered as well. It doesn't have to be perfectly pushed down. So once we have that done, we can now peel off the screen. So we're going to go ahead and from the top, we're going to go ahead and start peeling up the top layer very carefully. Okay. And again, very carefully, going to start peeling it up. Okay. All right, and just like that, we have the first part done. Now with the microfiber cloth, you want to go ahead and wrap that around the squeegee. And we can start pushing down the sides. Just like this. Okay, then we can go ahead and turn it around and work on the other side. Making sure the edges are nice and covered. Okay. And we want to go ahead and make sure we work the whole screen. Okay. And as you can see from the bottom, we can see some little bubbles up here, but we can tell that the top is perfectly nice. So for the bottom, we want to go ahead and use the microfiber cloth and the squeegee. And you want to go ahead and carefully try to work out the bubbles. And guys, remember that even if there are bubbles on the screen, um, just make sure that you work them out as much as you can. Uh, and whatever is left, any micro bubble is left uh, over, it will disappear uh, within 24 to 48 hours. So let's go ahead and keep pushing this down. Okay. So as we can see, the bottom portion is still bubbly, but we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how it looks like after 24 hours. So that way you guys can take a look that it will disappear. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at this over here. As you can see over here, any micro bubbles should disappear within 24 to 48 hours. So you know, even if you have any bubbles uh, on the top or any on the sides, and you just give that some time for it to settle down. So here we can see on the bottom, I have this bubble here, here, and here, and this little line over here, which will actually go away within that time frame. All right, guys, as you can see, it hasn't been 24 hours yet, but still got just a few bubbles here. And we can see the line is pretty much gone. And as you guys can see, uh, all the bubbles uh, from the bottom are all gone after 48 hours. So guys, so if there's any bubbles, they definitely will go away between 24 to 48 hours. Well, we can see all the sides are nice and covered. And this screen protector essentially, as you can see, covers uh, all the way from the bottom of the screen and the top of the screen. So with the case, I uh, have here a bodyguard contact case. We wanna go ahead and make sure that we're very careful when installing the uh, case because it is very uh, tight with the uh, with the screen protector. So once we push that nice, ni nice and slow, uh, we can definitely see that the case definitely fits uh, nicely with the screen protector. So make sure you guys align this very perfectly because if you do not align it perfectly, then uh, the case can push up the screen protector. If you're looking for an easier one, then uh, I would recommend checking out the Bodyguards uh, screen protector. I also have a video on that in the description below. But uh, let's go ahead and see how it feels. And feels really nice, nice and smooth. Okay, this is essentially the actual screen protector itself. And we can see it's a very thick plastic. And go ahead and try to run this here so you guys can take a look here. It's a very nice, tough 
very thick plastic. So it's not one of your flimsy plastic screen protectors. Definitely a really good one as you can see here. Try to uh, pierce it through, but as you can see, it's very nice and thick. So highly recommend it. Comes with a lifetime replacement guarantee. So guys, remember the link to this screen protector is will be in the description. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.